night on a positive note. The Leafs stink. And they're gone. The Blue Jays lose 7-6. However, the Toronto Raptors are on to round two. As we all expected them to be. But boy, oh boy, can we talk about how the Raptors straight up dominated the uh, the, or the Orlando Magic the last, what, uh, well, I guess three of the last four games. You can talk about that tight game in Orlando. But other than that game and game one, the Raptors straight up dominated. Absolutely dominated the Orlando Magic. They kill them tonight. And for the most part of the game, the Raptors are up by plus 20. I don't think they were, what? Uh, I don't think they were down. Uh, they were up. They, they never trailed in, the, in this game. But I don't think they ever were up by less than 10 points. At least it didn't feel like it. They were dominant right from the get-go. Kawhi Leonard was fantastic again tonight. He had 27. Pascal Siakam, most improved player. He was incredible once again. Lowry was Dynamite. Uh, you had Marc Gasol looking good. You saw Norm Powell throwing people down in posters. He was great. Abaka was good. This team is ready for the Philadelphia 76ers. I think I can test for every single Raptor fan when I say this. We are ready for Philly. Hashtag ready for Philly. We get that stuff trending. Oh, we'll be we'll be jacked up, all right? But, boy, oh, let's, let's get to this game. Let's get to this game. At one point... The Raptors were up 31 to 7. If I'm not mistaken, it was something like that at least. I think it was 31 to 7. They were awesome. They were the defensive intensity was incredible. The Raptors were up by 16 after one quarter. Then you go to the second quarter, you're plus 4. You do the math. You're up 20 at the half. Third quarter, plus nine. You're up 29 heading into the fourth. Yeah, you're minus 10 in the fourth quarter. But who the heck cares at that point? You win by, what is that, 19? The Raptors dominate, and they clean the clocks of the Orlando Magic. Look, coming into the series, we thought to ourselves, or at least I did, Pascal Siakam, you know, hadn't really done a whole lot against the Orlando Magic in the regular season. Jonathan Isaac has been a really good guy against the Toronto Raptors, and against Pascal Siakam this year. Nikola Vukovic has torn apart the Raptors on a consistent basis all year long. Mr. Nikola Vukovic himself, yes, he had 22-14 and 14 in that one game, but the Raptors did win that game. In every other game, the most points he scored was 11. The most rebounds he had was 8. Vukovic was a non-factor in the series. DJ Augustine was the only guy that took over at any point that got to the victory in Game 1. The Raptors dominated every single aspect of the game. We can talk about it. We can get ball movement. I mean, shooting the ball. Raptors were 48% shooting. They hold the Magic to 37% shooting. Raptors were 42% from the from 3. 15 for 36. Really nice number looking, heading into Round 2. You hold them to only 26% from 3. Free throw line, 86%, 18 for 21. And yes, the Magic get to the line 31 times. Sure, that makes not much sense. They were 74%. The rebounding categories. Yes, the Raptors were minus uh, 4 in the offensive glass. Whatever. Assists. 34 assists by the Toronto. 34 assists. The ball was humming. They were all sharing the rock, getting their good looks, and knocking down their jimmies. Beautiful. Eight steals to their seven. Three blocks to their five. Whatever. 14 turnovers. Yeah, a little high there. But, yes, they had 12 offensive rebounds. They only had two second chance points. The Raptors had eight offensive rebounds. We had eight second chance points. We were plus six in that category, yet minus four on the offensive glass. The defense was incredible. Let's go through this real quick here before we break down certain things about this game. Pascal Siakam, 24, 6, and 4. In 8 of 16 shooting, 5 of 6 from the line, 3 of 5 from 3. He gets a block, but plus 22 while he's on the floor in only 32 minutes. Kawhi Leonard only plays 32 minutes. He gives you 27 points, 7 rebounds, 2 dimes. Now get this! Playoff Kawhi has hit some next level voodoo garbage as a good thing. If you guys can kind of twist that the right way. 8 of 11 shooting. So you're telling me Kawhi Leonard had 27 points on 11 field goals on 8 
feet, eight made shots. You know, he had 27. The reason being, he was six of six from the line. Should have got there more, but... We all know what's happened with the officiating right now. He does not. So what does he do? He goes five of five from three. Five of five. Kawhi Leonard? I understand he's a great, he's, he's not a bad three-point shooter. Five of five? Incredible. He had a steal in the game today. He was a plus 38 was Kawhi Leonard. He single-handedly demolished the Orlando Magic. And then sprinkle in some spicy pee and you just absolutely slaughter them. Marc Gasol, 9 points, 9 rebounds, a couple dimes in the game, plus 24 on the floor. Just making it all happen. Kyle Lowry, fantastic. 14 points, 4 boards, 9 assists on 6 of 10 shooting, 2 of 4 from 3, 1 steal in the game, plus 31 on the floor. Thank you very much. Yes, Danny Green only gave you 6 points, but he gave you 5 rebounds and 3 dimes on 2 of 5 from 3. Gave you a couple steals, plus 28. The starting unit was all over the place, and they crushed, crushed the Orlando Magic. And then you got guys like Van, Van Vliet. Yes, he only had 7 points on 3 of 8 shooting, but he had 10 assists. Abaka gave you 10 off the bench. Norm Powell had 11 points on 5 of 9 shooting. Norman Powell is turning into something really, really nice here in the playoffs. I think we can all kind of attest to that. The Norman playoff, playoff Powell, oh, he's good. And if you guys did not see that poster, whoo, baby, go check that one out. Norm Powell. I mean, the bench got fired up. You heard Matt and Jack get fired up. I got jacked up. Uh, Norm Powell threw that baby down there in the first half. And just a great job of that. And this is all without Patrick McCall. Yes, he played eight minutes in the game, but he was injured for quite a bit of the series. And then with no OG and a no B, you're still finding a way to d d d demolish the Orlando Magic. Now, Raptor fans, with the series come and gone, our focus turns. We knew round one was going to be kind of like this. We said five games. Some people are saying four, but it's never e not easy to sweep a team. Yes, Boston did it and Milwaukee did it. You won in five games. Nothing to stop your nose at. You're playing the Philadelphia 76ers in round two. This is where... This is where we start thinking, okay, now it's playoff basketball. You got Philly, and if you find a way to move on, you got to either play Boston or Milwaukee, and then who knows, you get to the NBA Finals, you're probably going to see Golden State. From this moment onwards, it's going to be grinded out, hard basketball. You're not going to see the Raptors hold the Philadelphia 76ers under 100 points in four straight games. You're not going to see that. I mean, maybe you are, heck. The way, the way the Raptors have been playing defense in this series so far, you never know. But it is going to be a fun series against Philly, all right? Now, we're going to get into more into that into the round two preview. That when we hear the schedule of when it's going to be, when, when the game one is going to be happening, we'll do the video kind of like a day or two before then, just to kind of get you guys teed up and ready to go for the series. Uh, when, when that all plays out. Again, I'll keep you guys posted in the Blue Jays videos about when that's going to be happening for the Toronto Raptors. But boy, oh boy, Raptor fans, we all knew that the Raptors were going to win this series against Orlando. But now, it is here. It is done. You focus now on round two. And this is where things get real tough, real fast. Just because Philly's the, um, what? I mean, they're third, right? They came third in the Eastern Conference. They're not a bad team. They have Jimmy Butler, Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, however healthy he is. Tobias Harris, J.J. Redick. They have some good players there in Philly. You're not facing Orlando anymore, people. You're not facing a team that only has maybe Aaron Gordon that's any good and the odd-time D.J. Augustine. You're not facing that team anymore. You are now facing teams that have legit opportunities to go all the way. All right? So... Things are going to get real fun from here on out, and we're going to start sweating from here on out. It is going to be quite interesting to see how the rest of the playoffs will, uh, unfolds for the Toronto Raptors. But guys, for now, let's enjoy the series victory against the Orlando Magic. If you want to re-watch the four wins by the Raptors, go right ahead, because they were quite fun. And um, guys, thank you guys so much for listening. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys enjoyed the series, smack that like button. I do appreciate that. And the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Your thoughts on the series. What are your th expectations for the Philly series coming up? 
I want to hear your guys' thoughts on all that crazy stuff because it is going to be one heck of a second round matchup against Philly. And I'm so happy we have home court because game one is going to be in Toronto. And it's going to be really interesting to see what happens in game one for the Raptors. We'll get to, into that in the, in the round two preview, all right? So like I said, like button, subscribe button, do all that great stuff, guys. And um, Evan and I will talk to you. Or should I comment down below, guys, everything you guys thought of the game, the series, the expectations, and all that stuff. And Evan and I will talk to you guys. Podcast edition will be Thursday afternoon. Link is in the description for the podcast channel and for the podcast itself on iTunes. Twitter is also down below. Follow up, send me a DM, do all that great stuff. And I will talk to you guys, Leafs edition, uh, sometime. And I'll talk to you guys Blue Jays edition tomorrow as they take on the San Francisco Giants in the finale of the mini two game set against the Giants with, uh, uh, oh my goodness, who was pitching? Uh, Clay Buckles versus Drew Pomerantz. That's a pitching matchup there. 407 first pitch at Rogers Center. And as for the Toronto Raptors, their next matchup is the Philadelphia 76ers in round two. We're not sure as of yet when that'll be happening. We'll probably find that out tomorrow. And then, guys, you guys can just get a gist when the round one preview, or round two preview, is going to be out uh, either a day or two before the series begins. That is when I'll be recording and uploading the round two preview for you guys. I can't wait to get into this. I can't wait for round two to get going for the Raptors. All right, so thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this round because it was quite fun to see the Raptors dominate. So thank you guys so much for listening and watching. We'll talk to you guys then.